Good day guys, Ming here. Uh, today let's have some fun. So we are going to model these uh, bamboo. Okay, so it will be like this. Okay, so let's start. So first, um, let's create a adaptive family. Okay, so first place two point, make them adaptive, create a spline and make it a reference sign. So then next, place a point, draw on face, and place it on this reference line. And then place a reference line, draw on word plan. So, sorry, pick the uh, circle first, and then draw on word plan, set word plan, pick this word, vertical word plan of this point, and draw a circle. So uh, I'm going to just um, dimension. So I think. I'll use maybe one, let's say no, 90. Okay, so this is the first one. This one will go to the end. Uh, so go to the end of reference line, but here. So we're going to place a few of them. So I'll just, just copy. Um, so you can add a parameter to this, to a radius, but uh, uh, for this exercise, I'll just manually type in the number. Okay, so copy, so CC, copy, so we have this one, pick this point, uh, uh, pick new host, so I'm going to pick it here, so this one will go to this end, okay? So also we will need extra, so I'll CC, 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 so, and then, so this one will go to, um, uh, close to this end, and this one I will put this uh, on this on the middle midpoint, and this one I'll place it close to this end. You know, also I'll just move this top in one and go to the end, and I'll, this one I'll top in zero. So now we have five profile, and I'll try to let me just change this to eighty. All of these, I'll change them to 80. So all those are these three, change to 80, and uh, the, this one and the other one, uh, 90. Okay. So now let's have a look. So if I select these five, create four. Mm, this is not what we like. Okay. So. We need to adjust it, and we, you know, uh, I think we need more, more uh, profile. Okay, so first, I'm going to do is I'll add another. I want the middle part to be straight. The middle part. So currently, it's a little bit, you know, reduce the size, the small here, and then increase, and then reduce and increase. So what I I want is uh, straight. So um, let me just dissolve this shape. So what I'm going to do is I'll just first, I'll just uh, move this point to, to somewhere. Uh, hang on, let me just reduce this. So just relative to the, uh, the diameter, I think just, so now this, yeah, the lens is more um, to scale, I believe. So now I'll just decide where to place this point. So I'll maybe I'll place it at 0 0.033, 3, and then I'm going to just place another one at um, very close to this point. So it will be 0 0.031. Okay, very close to this, and also this one. Same. I'm going to place it at 0 0.97, and also I'll select this point and this uh, reference line, and place it next to it. So which is 0. Um, 0 uh, uh, sorry, I can't remember what what is this one. Oh, okay, 97. So this one will this one will be nine. 
Okay, so now let's have a look. So if I select these five, let's have a look. Oh, no, no, no. We need to select everything. Sorry. Select all these seven profile and create a form. Yep, so now it's almost straight. Okay, and also actually the end count it's like um let's go that way and if we place another one at the end it will be sharp the core this uh the end will be a, a sharp angle so what i actually i want um is maybe go up and do something like this and then you will have another one then something like that okay so I'll just dissolve this again, so and I'll place another one next to it. So maybe uh, I'll I'll place it here, and this one will be uh, very close to the last one, so 0.99a maybe. And let's and also let's place another one here. So select this profile and uh, together with this point CC and pick new host this one will be 0 0.002 so now let's try it again so select all these profiles nine of them and create a form so i think uh, even this one we can increase this a little bit 95 oh too much 91 92 um yeah maybe no 91 oh sorry 91 90.5 91 okay so let's just use 91 and maybe i'll just um i'll just leave it that's too uh that's um uh, you won't say see it you won't tell uh, the difference okay so that, let's say uh that's it i'll maybe just uh, create a material so uh, go let's find a, a bamboo bamboo let's see yep so that's a bamboo maybe this one okay and okay so let's See if it's realistic. Ah, golden bamboo. Great. So now let's create another family. So this time still uh, adaptive and place two points and make adaptive, create spline, reference sign. Okay, so now select this reference line and use divided path. And so instead of use a fixed number, I'm going to use a fixed, or uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, should be very similar, fixed distance or minimum distance or maximum. I'll use maximum. And let me say maximum uh, 600. Then 600. So okay that's it apply and then go back to this load this into here so place it one two and select it and uh, looks like that's too close to the end but anyway so let's have a look um, maybe that 900 Oh, sorry, 90 diameter compared to the 500, 600 is too, too big. Uh, can we have 180? Yeah, maybe I'll make it a little bit, you know, instead of 600, I'll make it 900. So we'll maybe look, yeah, I think it's, it looks better. Okay. So, yeah. Now we can, uh, I'll just create a um, project and I'm going to use a model in place mass in this project. So first I'm going to, so for example, I'll have some wall and I'll also model a roof on top of it. 
Okay, so and maybe a little bit overhand, overhand, overhand. Uh, I'll check the slope, check slope. I'll make it 15 degree. Okay, Let's attach top. Okay, so now I have a, I have a building. Okay, so now I'm going to use a model in place mass. Okay, so okay, and I'm going to just model two reference lines. Okay, so reference. So the first one will be on the floor, a uh, uh, floor floor level. So I'll just use a uh, draw our work plan, and so currently it's on ground floor, so which is okay. So I'll just draw a line. So maybe uh, some thing like uh, like this. Okay, so this is the first one. Okay, so the second one I'm going to draw it underneath this roof. So reference. And the same, draw our work plan, set work plan. And I'm going to pick the underneath of this roof. And then go, I'll just draw a line. So from here to maybe here. So now we have two reference lines. Yeah. So select these two reference lines. Use the divide, divide path. And also I'm going to just this time, I'm going to use fixed number or maybe 20 on each line okay so now we can go back to this uh, one, this one and load this into the project okay so now if I go to 3d view so we, we will um, be able to place it so let's place it so one and two okay so this is one of the bamboo right and then let's Say, so, uh, let's see uh, if we can repeat it. So click on this uh, repeat, and yeah, that's it. So something like this. And also, um, let me try a uh, shade. Okay. It's quite quite nice actually, I think. Um, 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 let's try a uh, realistic. It's quite very bamboo. <laughs> okay. So that's it. That's it for today. Um, I'll I'll upload this uh this uh family so you can have a play with it. Um, okay. So see you next time. Bye.